Someone's giving me a challenge. You bastard. I... This place is empty so long it's rotting. <gasps> Signs of life ahead. Enforcements! This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger.
We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCree. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keen. Miss Keen, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail, but right now we're tired and hungry. What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking. And I don't want one, neither. I've a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad-looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him! Ha! I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days.
climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. I see the bridge is up. May I pass? Well, seeing as the bridge is up, and further, as it'll not be coming down for the likes of you, I'd say no. You may not pass. The likes of me? What mean you? Look, if it were up to me, I'd lower the bridge and send you out to meet the beast, and that'd be the end of you. But it's not up to me, is it? The beast, eh? Best you talk to Kate, Banisher. For you'll not get more from me. I'd bid you good day, but you seem to have chosen otherwise. Good luck to you, Scudder. Luck my arse. I doubt you'll find her there. But have fun looking. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher. How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon, they're brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye, we're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories, likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith. I'm behind on my chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit. Eh? I was wondering, what brought you to the New World? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> better life indeed. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. We'll try not to die in the meanwhile.
So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Make each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jenny. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. I don't know you. Red McCraith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thick Skin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Hmm. Why's that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believed the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet, I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. I'll leave you then. Good day. Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting manager. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, come the friends help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Wherever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad. But as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. You carry them on your back. With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters. Are you leaving New Eden for good, then? Thick skin sold me on Boston. I've not changed my mind. But for now, we're stuck here. And trade continues. Look about you. 
folk here come through hell for this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. What's the word around here? What's on your mind? Uh, you'll get no gossip from me, sir. At least not for free. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. I bid you a good day. You're new. Good day to you too. Red McCraith, madam. At your service. You're a long way from Scotland. Lost, are you? I am but a travelling banisher, just passing through. A banisher, is it? I tend the living in the Lord's name and leave the dead to him. You do well to do the same. We all serve as best we can. Ideal death to the dead so the living can heal. I don't take advantage of people's grief. I believe in helping others. In this world. Leave heaven and hell to their masters. Now, do excuse me. Unlike some, I have work to do. I didn't catch your name. Doctor? You'll not let the governor hear you call me a doctor. Mistress will do. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher. Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. The world about us is the new Smith sisters' purview. I'm content to worry only about the patient in front of me. May I ask, Mistress Fitcher, how you became a doctor? I'm no doctor, and you must stop calling me that. My father was a doctor. I took an interest in his work. He encouraged this. God, he said, will work through any hands willing to be of service. And besides, he needed the help. Arthritis, you see. My father was unusual as a doctor, for his patients tended not to die. Folk trusted him, and though they knew me as a midwife, they trusted me too. When he died, his patients became my patients. And you? Whose footsteps did you follow in becoming a banisher? A dear friend. To him I'll be forever grateful, for through him I met the love of my life. 
I'm so tempted to appear to her right now. So tempted. I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. I wish a word with you. Perhaps is a key. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. Newsmith. Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. How fares New Eden town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Something the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it, but you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone. She's thrice the hunter. Anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. 
Have you been here long? <laughs> Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would thick skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've traveled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much.
have slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go. Good day to you, Squire Paris. Uh, thank you, but no, sir, it is not a good day. What's the word around here? What's on your mind? All right, I'm bored. Go on then. Whose ears shall we burn? How are things going around here? Use your eyes and ears, man. I do. I'd very much like your view of the situation. I'm cold. I'm hungry. It's been weeks since I've slept more than four hours in a row. This camp is a shithole. And it's worse outside. This is my view of the situation. I'd be glad to know your thoughts on Kate Newsmith. The younger sister? I keep my distance. Why is that? We all have masks. I'm good at seeing past them. Well, behind Kate Newsmith's mask, there is a bomb. The fuse is nicked. Someday soon, it shall go boom. I'd gladly know your thoughts on thick skin Newsmith. A thick skin, but a sharp mind. Pragmatic, unemotional. Could have been a merchant, if she had it in her to fake the charm. I'll bid you good day.
Jane. Banisher? Is the widow hate doing better? How's the food? It's steak for supper. <laughs> I jest. It's soup. And I'm sure Prudence and her kitchen interest you not. You seen her of late? I'm looking for her. No, not of late. I've been busy. We all have. Where might I find her? She has a cabin. Far side of camp. Herbs hang in the windows. She likes her food to taste good. When she wanders the woods, she's looking for flavor. She wished to go to the sea in search of salt, but thick skin would not allow it. How is she? Has she seemed herself lately? She had a toothache. I gave her gallnuts to ease the pain. From losing her husband? Prudence lost her husband many moons ago. Her grief is healed. Her teeth still hurt. Are you friends with Kate Newsmith? If I was, why would I tell you? All right. Can I instead ask what you do? You can. Well, what do you do? I'm a safeguard. I safeguard Squire Paris. I safeguard his goods. I safeguard his shop. I safeguard his life. I'll leave you then. Good day. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. Scudder? Are you brother to beloved Scudder? Oh, no, nothing like that. He's my cousin. And who are you, your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? I'll try my best, son. Good, good. Though, truth be told, you'll probably die. How are things going around here, Credence? We're all cold and hungry and afeard. We left New Eden so's we would live. But death's been at our doorstep every minute since. What can you tell me of thick-skinned Newsmith? Oh, she's very brave, sir. A fine leader. She scares me. What do you think of Kate? I don't know. She's not very nice. Beloved knows her better than me. How are people holding up? We upped and left without knowing if we'd make it. Now we're lost and hungry and stuck here in the woods. We're afraid, sir. We're all very afraid.
Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people. Really love them. Without people, oh, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. Yeah. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze.
Right. Let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. These nails look brittle. Voices from the dead ripple here. What kind of forge has no tools? Mine, oh mine. What is it? Salt water. Mine. It's pulsing. Oh mine. There's something here. Mine, oh mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to start. Oh well. Thank you, Miss Wright. Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the Banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. Let's trade, Mrs. Heaton. All right. Let's. <laughs> 